Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marital Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. Luke, chapter 9, verses 7 to 9. Herod the Tetrarch heard about all that was happening, and he was greatly perplexed because some were saying, John has been raised from the dead. Others were saying, Elijah has appeared. Still others, one of the ancient prophets has arisen. But Herod said, John I beheaded. Who then is this about whom I hear such things? And he kept trying to see him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. We hear today that Herod was very anxious to meet Christ, not out of any wholesome or edifying motivations, rather to quell the disquiet in his heart, which rattled its way back to life after hearing the news that maybe John the Baptist, whom he killed, came back to life to haunt him. So in other words, Herod did not care about all the multitudes of people Jesus was curing, nor the good news that were uplifting the hearts of the hearers of Christ's proclamation. Rather, it was purely out of selfish motives, mixed in with undercurrents of intrigue and subterfuge. Now this begs the question, what are our motivations when desiring to meet Christ? Is it out of a genuine desire to become closer to our Lord and Savior and have our hearts transformed? Or is it similar to that of Herod's, laden with undercurrents that only serves our own interests. Perhaps it falls somewhere in between, depending on where we find ourselves in life at the moment and whatever circumstances we're facing. Regardless of what the initial motivations may be, as long as our hearts are not hardened beyond change, any encounter with Christ will produce life-giving fruit. The timing of the harvest, however, is solely on God's will and wisdom. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and transformative day. If you enjoyed today's Gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Noel does around the world, please visit us at marionolsociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at marionolmagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.